Hello and welcome to today's tropics. As you can see here, we have Tropical Disturbance 6F is the only active tropical cyclone being tracked by an official warning center. There are also two disturbances. We have Invest 90B in the North Indian and we have 94S in the Australian region. So we can see here that Tropical Disturbance 6F is located at 8.2 south uh, 162.7 degrees east, which puts it right about here on this satellite imagery. So right over the Solomon Islands. Or it's not expected to form into a stronger system. So nothing really out here in the South Pacific. All of these uh, thunderstorms not really particularly related to any tropical development. So let's go to our cyclogenesis probabilities graphic that we have here. As you can see, there's not much activity in the Western Hemisphere. So we have, we'll zoom in, um, currently the most significant item of note is the tropical low over Western Australia. Currently. Uh, which is the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is calling Invest 94S. It has a moderate chance for development into a tropical cyclone, especially if it can get out over water. Uh, there's also a different tropical low south of Jakarta that is mostly most likely going to be inconsequential. And our other significant chance for development is here in the North Indian uh, over the Andaman Islands which is 90B currently Indian Meteorological Department does not have anything to say about it uh, as well as we have some future systems which may be important um, we have the remnants of 93S which could maybe in the in the long term, more than five days out, uh, develop, as well as something in the Gulf of Carpentaria and in the South China Sea. So now we're going to move to these three more significant and more immediate chances for development. So it's currently nine universal time, and we'll start in the North Indian with this system which has been interesting for the past few days uh, it's been moving east in the Bay of Bengal from south of Sri Lanka let's see if we can go back here a little bit yeah that's this system right here uh, off the tip southern tip of India it's been moving east here to the tip of Indonesia and what I find interesting is we can move, go out here three days. Uh, actually, let's go a little further here. Because here's where we start to see these tropical storm force winds. So at this point, it would definitely have a name. It's definitely a significant tropical cyclone. We can compare this to the past model runs here and note how it's significantly stronger and further to the west. So the models have been trending this east from especially it's from these significant cyclones like very severe cyclonic storm strength hurricane force cyclones has moved east and personally I would not be surprised if it ended up over the Malay Peninsula here uh, and did not end up actually getting a name or even being considered a depression by the Indian Meteorological Department but that is unofficial that is just my personal insight uh, so currently we should probably be watching it to see because it could 
end up tracking assuming it forms it should track to the northwest and end up near Myanmar which uh, as you can see here it's quite significantly weaker at this point it's also kind of paired with this tropical low which is probably 10U uh, which is an internal designation by the Bureau of Meteorology of Australia but we don't know as they've not they have not issued any tropical cyclone advices or technical bulletins on it we also have this tropical low here which at this point would be a tropical cyclone even by uh, Australia's very strict definition of gale force winds around at least half of the center which gives us tropical storm force wind tropical lows sometimes in fact we had Yvette here but this is interesting because this would receive a name from the Bureau of Meteorology assuming they would name a tropical cyclone that formed completely over land let's get a better view of this formation over land so here's where it is right about now and as you can see possibly uh, has winds of 35 knots here then loses it but then it gets close to the gets close to the coast here but still completely inland and it starts to get these gale force winds only attains them for about a day though but that will certainly be something to watch really interesting here though how well it is actually developed is it looks like a tropical depression maybe even more than that here we have the Bureau of Meteorology's Met Eye we can see that there has been recorded 30 knot winds just off the coast on Troughton Island or something of the sort but the thing to note is the closed circulation that there appears to be although it's a little weak on the southwest quadrant we have some winds kinda going awry here they're very weak it's quite possible that this tropical low has a closed circulation and I didn't mention this before, it would it's probably called 9U. It formed about the same time as the tropical low to the northwest over south of Indonesia, but again we don't know. Uh, it's just an internal designation and we may see it in the future if if the Bureau of Meteorology issues a tropical cyclone technical bulletin or tropical cyclone advice on the tropical low. Also we can see some lines of thunderstorms nothing too much out in pretty much the middle of nowhere not very much of a significant threat at the moment although the rainfall is probably going to be pretty high for this region that doesn't experience high rainfall um, especially after the last tropical low that passed through here about a week ago before Yvette came through. Here I have brought up the models run by the Bureau of Meteorology. It does develop some winds uh, into Friday as it leaves the Western Australian coastline actually here actually probably doesn't but it gets very close and if this system does actually track a little to the north, a little to the west of where it's currently predicted to go, it will end up in these in this water and it could actually end up being a category one tropical cyclone on the Australian scale. So that will be to watch out for here in about three days, two or three days. That's about it for the tropics today. Tomorrow, we'll have another video with updates. See ya.